one of the main reasons you would be using the Telligent Community Integration Module for Sitecore is that you have content in your Telligent Community that you want to incorporate into your Sitecore website. So the Telligent Community Integration Module supports retrieving content in three ways. First, there is an API. This API provides .NET object level access to content in the Telligent Community. The second option is a set of ASP.NET controls. These are templated web controls that support data binding that allow you to retrieve and filter content from Telligent Community. And the third option is something called the Community Component. This is a control that's used inside of Sitecore to retrieve and filter content from Intelligent Community through the Sitecore page editor. And that's what this video is going to focus on, the community component. What I want to do is show you how the community component is used, how it's configured, and what it does. I'm going to demonstrate this using the NICAM site. So if I go to my published site, I have a link up at the top for community. And currently, the content area in the middle is blank. But what I want to do is I want to retrieve blog content, blog posts, and display some information from the blog posts along with the links to the blog posts. Those blog posts are stored in my Intelligent Community Server. To do this, I need to log into Sitecore. I'm going to open up the page editor, navigate to my community section and open the page in design mode. Now the center column is that white area in the middle. So this is where I want to add my Sitecore control. I go in and add the control like any other control. And what I'm going to select is the community component. This is a control that is installed and registered in Sitecore when you install the Intelligent Community Integration Module. So I'm going to select this control and then go into the properties. And this is where a wizard is going to guide the content author through the process of identifying exactly what content from the Intelligent Community should be retrieved and how that content should be formatted. I want to retrieve blog content, so I'm going to select the blog application. Then depending on the application I select, there are different kinds of content that I'm able to retrieve. I want to retrieve all of the posts for specific blogs. So I'm going to select this first option. Next, the integration shows me the groups that are defined in Intelligent Community. I want to filter the blogs to just those blogs that are available to NICAM group. And in the NICAM group, I've got two blogs. I'm going to select both of these blogs. As soon as I select the blog, then the integration shows me the different tags that have been applied to content in the blog. I don't want to filter by any of those tabs. And the last option on the screen that I want to talk about is filter by current user. This is an important option that you would select if you want the integration to take intelligent security into consideration. Now, I'm not going to check this option, and I'm going to explain it when we look at the published site, because it's going to be a little easier to explain what's going on over there. Okay, but filter by current user is an option that we're going to be coming back to. Finally, the content author needs to specify what presentation logic should be applied to the content that's being retrieved from Intelligent Community. This is handled through something called display templates. And the display templates that are available for this type of content, blog post items, will appear in this drop-down list. I'm going to select blog post default for my presentation logic. I'm going to save my changes, and I'm going to publish. Now when I go over to my published site, I'm going to see blog content has been retrieved. So I see that I have the title of the blog post, I see some content from the blog post, some metadata, the author and the date. And I also have a link that will take me to the blog item over Intelligent. So NICAM World Tour coming soon. Just as an example, I'll click this link, and then this takes me over to Intelligent Community. 
and I can see the blog post. Now this blog post is a part of a blog called NICAM News Blog. And this is a blog that is available to anybody. Even anonymous users have access to it. Now if I look at all of the content that's being returned, down at the bottom I've got a blog post that's called Employee Directory Update. Now I know that this is a blog post that's from a blog that is only available to employees. And the only way an employee is going to have access to it is if he's logged in. I am not logged in right now, so if I click the link, the link is still going to take me over to the Telligent community, but since I don't have access through Telligent community, Telligent is going to redirect me over to a login screen. Now, why did this happen? Well, this happened because of a setting that we didn't really talk about over on the community component configuration. So if I go back in here, this is what the filter by current user option does. By not checking this, it's saying don't apply any of the intelligent community security to the content that is retrieved through this component. Show everything. In some cases, this can be a good thing. If maybe if you're trying to upsell a subscription service, you would want users to be able to see all of the content, but then they wouldn't be able to get to the content. But in other cases, you don't want users to be able to see content that they don't have access to. This is one of those cases. I don't want users to be able to see posts to the internal blog. So I'm going to filter by current user. So this is saying filter the results by the current user who's logged into the website. If I'm not logged in, I'm the anonymous user, so only show me the content that's available to the anonymous user from Intelligent. I'm going to save my changes. I'm going to republish. And now when I go back to my published site, and I refresh the community, now I no longer have those couple of blog posts that were from the employees only blog. If I log in as an employee, however, the control is configured to filter by the current user. I'm currently logged in as an employee, so now I'm going to see the internal blog items. And when I click the link and I navigate over to Intelligent Community, I'm going to see that I have access to the internal blog. So the community control is a powerful tool for allowing content authors to be able to specify what content from the intelligent community they want to have displayed in the Sitecore site, and also what presentation logic should be applied. In the next video, I'm going to demonstrate how the presentation logic is defined and how it can be edited. That's going to conclude this demonstration on the community component. For more information, you can visit Sitecore's shared source library.